Okay, so how many of you are thinking about starting a business? You've thought of this amazing idea, you can't stop thinking about it, and you're eager to be your own boss, but you're not quite sure if it will work or if it can be successful. So here I'll be talking about the truths in starting a business and the things that I've learned since starting my own in the past year. Many of you may know that I have a coaching business and I help clients elevate their mindsets. Whilst this started from my podcast and never really known about starting a business before, I wanted to share some of the insights which I wish that I'd known before. And this is so that if any of you are thinking about starting your, your own business, hopefully this will help you. But firstly, many of us would love to be independent, working for ourselves, living our lives on our own terms, and the thought of us waking up and knowing that what we will accomplish in that day is based on our own rules is something that many of us find exciting. And according to SME Loans, 64% of the UK workforce wants to start their own business. And according to Forbes, 90% of all new American billionaires are actually self-made. So further statistics show that employees who decide to make that switch and become more independent employers feel more fulfilled and motivated to work. Sounds amazing, right? However, there are things which I wanted to explore and the potential barriers that can get in the way. So firstly, it's time. Many of us never start because we don't have the time. We can be extremely busy with work and family commitments. But with time, if you cannot make that time within your schedule to start, then neither will that business. So with time, the question that you really need to ask yourself is, am I really passionate enough about this idea to put my time towards? And if the answer is yes, then we need to look at ways to incorporate time into our busy schedules. And if the answer is no, then we may need to reevaluate our idea. And if this is actually the right path for us. However, this path can lead us to a new crossroads, which can mean a simple change can get us back on track. So look at ways of how you currently manage time. So think of work, for example. When you get into work, what do you have? It's normally a calendar which shows your meetings for the day and your appointments. So you know when you're busy and when you're not. So what if you can do that outside of work? So things like outside of work, I know that I'm free between these times and these times. I know that we're busy. I know that we've got a lot on. So for example, with myself, I was looking at time in the evenings and I was so exhausted from that day where I would focus my my evenings onto things that would escape me from being busy. So for example, I would get home from work and I would watch hours of these Facebook videos like prank videos, cat videos, anything to escape me where it's not meaningful content. It's not something where I can become more intelligent by watching it. And I thought, okay, I'm spending a lot of time doing this. What happens if I can just dedicate that time to something else, shift it so that Yes, I'm, I like watching videos, clearly. What happens if those videos can be something that's more meaningful and towards my business goals? I'm still watching those videos, but I'm changing the content. What can you do in your schedule to allocate more time more resourcefully? This one, number two, am I good enough? All right, so many of us don't start because we think that we're not good enough. So here's a tip which I learned from Austin Cleon is just to be an amateur. Being an amateur means that we have little to lose. We're all amateurs when we start. The process of finding yourself during this journey is probably the most exciting. And a quote that I love by Charlie Chaplin is that that's all any of us are, is amateurs. We don't live long enough to be anything different. But finding yourself should never stop you from starting, as again, this will never happen. So by you making that start means that you've given yourself the foundations to grow. So think like a tree, it just doesn't magically appear. It takes a long time to flourish. Also, many of us feel that we're not intelligent enough, like myself. However, a motivating statistic, according to Startup, claim that 29% of successful entrepreneurs only have an A-level or equivalent. So it really doesn't matter about, am I good enough based on education or if I'm smart enough? And also again, to Startup, Two thirds of entrepreneurs had no experience before starting their companies. I need to be perfect before I start. 
I think this a lot, but nobody's perfect. In fact, some of the business leaders that we see today are still honing and perfecting their craft. Perfection is an excuse for procrastination and we use perfection to stall our progression and actually start. No one's perfect, we need to get over this, but what you are is unique. No one's like you and no one thinks the way that you do. So you have your own spin and your opinions and this makes you unique. So with perfection, change it to uniqueness and use this as the motivation to begin. Is my idea good enough? Okay, so firstly, analyze your business idea. Has anyone done anything similar? Do you find people talking about your niche? Is there a market? These are some of the things that you need to consider. And if someone has done and accomplished something like what you wanna do, and you have your own unique spin like before, and it means so much to you, then why the hell not? You know, I see a lot of content stating to find your niche, who you are, who you're speaking to, who do you wanna reach, and what is the outcome? And if this means a hell of a lot to you and you can't stop thinking about your idea to the point where you cannot sleep because all you're thinking about is your idea and what you can bring to the table is different, unique, and the idea in your gut is so perfect, then go for it. See, I'm gonna end this on a quote by Wayne White. Follow your heart and your pleasure in art. Don't do what you think is gonna be making you money or what your parents want you to do or what that beautiful girl or what that guy thinks that you should be doing. Do what you love. It's gonna lead you to where you want to go. Go out there and make that world more beautiful. I know that you can. So the moral of this is that if you are passionate about your idea, be an amateur, take that risk. Don't look at it from how much money I can make do it for passion, do it for purpose, but also importantly, do it for you. See, we all have ideas. We all want to go out there and start our own businesses, but we can also be stuck in a fixed mindset. The reason that we're in a fixed mindset, am I good enough? Will this work? Am I gonna be successful? Is because ultimately starting a business is something so new for us that we've never ever done before. So we're completely out of our comfort zone. We're obviously gonna question are we good enough and will this work? But the things that you've got to take into account for is, one, you're unique, right? And your idea, has anyone done it before? Are people successful in your field? If so, then, okay, well, what's, what's there to lose? What can you bring to the table that's unique? What spin can you have on the current content that's out there? People are clearly making money, then why can't you? Also embrace that journey because it's exciting. You're doing something that you've wanted to do. And if you're passionate, you can't stop thinking about it, then go for it. You'll learn along the way. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be an expert. Just go out there and give it your all. Show the world who you are, what you're bringing to the table, and you'll learn and you'll grow. See, if entrepreneurs don't even know about their business before they start, or if they've never run a business before, and they've become more successful, then why the hell can't you? You know, if this video did resonate and you did like the content, then do drop a like. It means a lot and stay tuned for the next. Thank you so much.